Hello YouTube, and this apparently is called a Hoover. Now I don't know what one of these is, what one of these does, because I've never used one before. But it's a V8 Dyson, so the owner tells me, or at least the wife tells me. Um, and apparently when you run it, it keeps cutting out and then pulsing on off. So I've heard it, it's very annoying. <laughs> yeah, don't be doing that for too long. But apparently when it's being used, it does this. <laughs> Obviously without pushing the trigger. It's not doing it now. Well, it's working fine. Don't know what she's moaning about. Um, but I have heard it. It does pulse. So I think it could be the battery, as in it's detecting a bad cell in there or something. Um, could be overheating. I don't know. don't even know how you get the battery out of this thing. So we'll see if we can take it out and do something with it. Maybe. Well, that's working at the moment. Well, we'll try and take it apart. So under here, where all the dust goes, there's these two screws and this red clip. Now, this red clip does move and the cover's open. So does that hold the battery? So I'm thinking, do we take these two screws off and then the battery should come out at the bottom? Maybe. Let's give it a try. Some people shut lines on it. Right, screws out. Right, so them two screws are out. And then you've got to take out a screw here and the whole back battery back battery slides off and Ta -da! i'm gonna drop this uh... okay that's a bit weird so that red thingy down there is actually a lever connected to the button because now the battery's out that lever's fully the button's fully into the body and then you've got the two contacts and that battery spinny goes around and hits a button here on the battery and that's what actually starts the hoover so the button to power the hoover is on the battery which is a bit bizarre so i'm assuming you push that it goes live um okay fine it's a completely sealed unit you can see there's a shut line in there it's probably all glued i don't think there's any screws around it is there something under the label i doubt it though probably all heat staked um Right, let's see if we can uh, put some pins in there and see what we get. So LED shoved in the holes fit nicely on the contacts, which is, gives you a nice point to probe. It's even got plus and minus marked up on it, look. So there's the meter, reading a few millivolts at the moment. And we push the button on the battery. Nothing happens. Hmm, okay, wasn't really expecting that. Don't tell me my LEDs aren't good enough. Uh, I just don't believe it. That's why I'm going to have to keep doing it. Okay, fine. So I can't seem to get this battery powered up. So what I've done currently, LEDs weren't working. So I've taken the pins out of an American plug. Thank you, America. Shoved them in there. So all the contacts inside are bridged. And it still won't turn on. See, the lights on the side aren't turned on. So when this is running in the hoover, them lights on the side down there light up to show you the battery indication. So I thought it doesn't need a load. So I've got a 47 ohm resistor with the 22 volts out of this battery. It should give it 10 watts. This is a 25 watt resistor, so it should be okay. This says moving back. Um, so let's see if this blows up or works. Nothing. We've been running a magnet over it because I'm getting desperate. Hmm. Let's run a magnet over it again. Is it down here? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I've literally just found that. Why does it turn off and back on? There we go. It's a bit weird, isn't it? All right, let's see if there's an output. There's my, there's my meter. Right, with magnet in place and leads, push the button. 24 volts! Yay! Oh, then it disappears. Uh, that could be the magnet failsafe thingy going on. I don't actually know what, what's, why it does that. Weird. 
Okay. This battery's clearly being too clever for its own good. There's something on the back here, isn't there? Hmm. Okay. Right, so I've just checked a hoover and there is a magnet sitting there in the hoover. So that must be the magnet that triggers it to tell it it's in the hoover itself. Sorry, vacuum cleaner. Um, I've put a load back on it again, the, 10, the 25 watt resistor. So just to see if that keeps it on. No smoke, no fire. It doesn't. What's going on? Does this weird counting down thing. Doesn't do that in the hoover, and yet... Mm, that's not particularly warm. Hmm. Don't know why it does that. Maybe that's the fault. Maybe that's what's wrong with it. Interesting. So it started failing again, so I decided to film that. So that's what it does, and as you can tell, the lights in that bit of video were always lit. So it's not the same as what we're seeing on the desk, where the lights count down and then turn off. Um, so it might not be the battery. It could also obviously be the motor or the electronics in here that drive the battery, um, drive the motor. Um, yeah, this is going to fight me, isn't it? What we need to do is... Because then lights are on, means it must be supplying power. I wonder if we can get any the circuit board behind here. Hmm. Well, I've learnt something. The uh, top of these come off so you can clean them. So that's what comes up, comes apart. In here, there are two more security screws. So if you take them off, maybe you can get in there. Because that looks like the entrance to the motor. This hoover is becoming more and more disassembled. And that's the only bit of electronics I've got left now. So, look. Oh, I've made the Dyson hairdryer. <laughs> right, anyway. Uh, so them screws aren't going to help us because that's just the clip that holds in the waste collection doodad. We've got to take this off. So there's a, there's a line around here. So this has got to come off next to get to the board, which could be fun. Yeah, this isn't designed to be serviceable, clearly. With a little bit of prizing and persuasion... That is now off, and we are in to another cover for our own protection. So, oh, this is just going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Right, carry on. That wasn't so bad, actually. You have to uh, feed this wire through some gaps in the in that case, and then it just pull it and it unclips. So just put it sideways, and it just comes undone. So these are the two main cables for power. Um, not a lot on here, is there really? It doesn't look like there is. There's been loads on the other side. So we'll put a meter across this, run the hoover, and see if we get spikes in power whilst it's failing. So this is the setup now. Battery's on my lap. There's a magnet underneath here. Um, because of course you need the magnet for it to run and I've got the meter across the terminals and if I run it this could be noisy it sounds better that moves quite a bit of air still not failing yet though that's me If you're wearing headphones, don't. And the flashing blue light means I've now just run it completely flat. It ran for a complete battery cycle and there was no hiccups whatsoever. Um, so being apart seems to make it work. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm tempted just to put it back together again. Give it a full charge and see if it would do it again. And if it does, we'll have to investigate it further. Otherwise, I would call it fixed just by 
discharged it and recharged it. Maybe, maybe. Um, but these aren't as bad as I thought they were. I mean, they are quite modular. So the battery does come off with three screws. This is the hardest bit to take off. And everything else just unclips. So it's very serviceable inside. The switch just turns the battery run off. So you just have to supply power into the board and the motor runs. Um, and there's not much on there. It's just a brushless motor. So that would probably be a brushless speed controller, I see. Oh, has it got any markings? Ah, they declipped themselves. Uh, yeah, there are some markings on it. But it's covered in formal coating, so it's a bit tricky to see. But I reckon that's... Does it? No, it's not hot. Nothing on there is hot. So it's probably just, like I say, a DC controller and uh, some MOSFETs on the other side of the board, I reckon. Although it looks like you have to desolder some of these pins to get the board out. But it's quite a good bit of engineering, really. Highly mass-produced, but serviceable. And uh battery's quite warm now. So yeah, I'll um, bang it all back together again, put it on charge, and I'll leave a comment in the description if it worked or not. But for now, thank you very much, and I've got to try and get this back together again. At least you got to see inside a Hoover. Vacuum cleaner, Dyson, whatever you want to call this. All right, see you later. Bye.